Hey, my name is Kirk Johnson. I'm from Denver Museum. I'm the chief curator of the Denver Museum, and we're on the side of the South Skokomish River looking at one million year old fossil sockeye salmon. We're in the, the bed of an ancient lake that was formed after the glaciers dammed this river and formed a big lake, and salmon were getting into the lake somehow and spawning, going up and spawning, and as they do, they died, the, the carcass would float back down into the lake and they get buried actually in the lake floor. So here's a cross section of this ancient million year old lake bed and it's full of sockeye salmon. When this fish was swimming up this stream or the precursor of this stream, Puget Sound was filled with giant plugs of glacial ice. So what we know now is a great big inland uh, waterway was actually a great big sheet of ice that progressed down from Canada. And the rivers that flowed into the Puget Sound were dammed as the, as the ice sheet pushed up against the edge of the mountains. So what we have now is a big sound. Before that was here, we had this mile, two mile thick pile of ice that blocked the waterways. So this is part of the head of the fish. You can see the, the gill rakers and some of the, the plates around the front of the face. The face used to be out here. The back of the fish used to be out here. And what we're seeing is one of the nice pectoral fins splayed out. You have just the front head, basically the tip. If you think about smoked salmon tips, looking at a one million year old fossil salmon tip right here. When this salmon died and got buried in the stream, it was about a million years ago, so there were a lot of the animals that live in the Pacific Northwest now, with the exception of humans. Humans didn't get here. But there were also a lot of other Ice Age animals around here. We find in North America at that time things like mammoths and mastodons and giant sloths. There were saber-toothed cats. There were actually lions. So you had a whole host of animals that you tend to associate with Africa or the deep time that were living and walking through the Pacific Northwest ecosystem along with the animals that we have here today, the black bears and the grizzly bears, the elk and the mountain sheep, things like that. So what you've got is a remnant of an ancient ecosystem, but it's so close in time to today, it's only a million years ago, that it shares a lot with what's living today. But it was alive when things that we think of as being extinct and long gone were also here. They say the data's in the strata, that's all you 